Hi everyone, the objectives of this video are to understand dislocation motion. We're then going to define the slip system and we're going to complete an example question at the end. Okay, so dislocation motion. Essentially, if a dislocation doesn't move, then deformation doesn't occur. So any dislocation um, or impurity, um, if the dislocation doesn't move through the crystal structure, then deformation doesn't occur. And that's a very important concept to understand. So just to show you that, I have this picture here which kind of explains it. So as you can see in these first two diagrams here, what is happening is, so this is the initial starting position, a force is applied in that direction, as you can see, and a tilting of the plane starts to happen. But what has happened is that it's still in its form, it's just being tilted and stretched. So we see here, in that distance, we have an elastic shear strain. So if you only push it to that distance and then let it go, it will spring back to its original position shown here. Okay, if you look at these other images, so three and four. Well, what you see here is we start in the same place. So a, a shear force is going to be applied. And this time it's going to be applied over a smaller distance. So as you can see there, it was a large distance. Here it's a smaller distance. And the fact that that's a smaller distance, it's a more acute shear force. And what happens here is, well, we actually have a shifting of the plane. So the plane was here and it's been shifted up a position. It's not just simply tilting like we see in the first situation. It's a total shift. So then